What is up, you guys? Toy Story KB here, back in the video. And today we have another Toy Story review. This one's up, Holiday Hero Buzz Lightyear. I bought this on my birthday. Um, it costed twenty-five dollars. It came. Here's a picture. I think it came with. Um, it came with this, a '96 Woody, and like this Buzz Lightyear spaceship thing with uh, Buzz and Woody action figures. I went to go pick it up, which was okay. So, got a good deal. So. Okay, so basically, the prices of this buzz are, like, different, you know? So, like, there's some over $100 or $100 even. Some are, um, like, $300 in package or $200 and up in package. It's pretty pricey to get him in package. I don't know why, but I have seen one in Mercari for, like, 30 something With shipping, it's, like, 50 almost. So, if you want him in good mint conditions, it'd be like a hundred bucks. So, yeah. This is um, a pretty rare Buzz Lightyear. He's, he's in really good condition um, compared to the other things, and I'm really happy about that. So, he works. I protect Christmas presents from the threat of invasion. There's his voice box. He lights up there. <laughs> that works. Uh, also, his wings work. They pop out, too. They look like candy canes, which is cool. Surprised that the wings worked, if I'm being honest. So, yeah, his helmet opens. It locks shut. That works. Um, there's no wrist communicator, uh, sadly. Um, back on the 95 Buzz, they didn't do that. It's basically the same. I come in peace. So, yeah, this, these, don't, ugh, these wings don't work, sadly. Um... But these do, so this toy's worth like a hundred dollars um out of box on eBay. Um pretty happy with this guy. So he has uh, like a face. Buzz. He has a face. This is like a misprint in his eye. I don't know. It's just like that. So he has a red mask or like a head thing. Or like a you know, what are those things called? Like a head wrap. Instead of uh, the 95, where it has the purple, like on every other Buzz Lightyear, this one's old, this one stand right. So, yeah, this is a little comparison here. So, instead of a green armor piece, it's a shiny metal metallic green. You can see through it, reflective. There's a cool little sticker here. It's like red. Really good shot of it. It's red, and it... Um, has like this yellowish star command symbol with a white missile in it with a ring going around it and there's little circles in the sticker everywhere which looks pretty cool to me. Same thing with the light ear sticker. It's like a shiny yellow gold and it has the black light ear and there's all circles in it. Um, Nora buttons. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year to the North Pole and beyond. This is Buzz Lightyear. They all work. His head doesn't move. On the 95 model of Buzz Lightyear's, there's no button to make his helmet go up. Sadly, um, the wings don't light up. Um, no wrist communicator again. But yeah, so his arms, like his, the black part right here, is not black on this one. It's silver, as you can see, which is cool. His arms are not gray either; they're white. Um, which is cool. Um, the stickers are in really good condition too. Um, it's like a candy cane um, kind of thing going. It has a laser and a, a black border, which is cool. A little button here. Lights up. Makes that noise. Another white little ball. His arms move. Um, he goes up to like this. So, yep. Good articulation here. And eh, not too good on the side. Um, his hand moves, they're white, his weird looking thumb, one of his fingers moves individually. Um, there's like a silvery green, same as this. You know, like a wrist guard, he also has a silver part where the laser is, that lights up. As uh, I said before. Uh, what else was this? His arm's basically the same over here with the white and silver colors. But, as you can see here, he has this sticker. In this color, which I don't, he doesn't like to stand. It's hard to stand in one hand. So here's the, the comparison of the stickers. I uh, see the stickers. So he's gonna fall. 
He's like in the matrix with me back and all. So same as this side. This doesn't open now. It just has a little, you know, detailing. Same with this arm. Finger moves individually. And uh, only one, not like collection. Okay, so here's like the middle area. There's a speaker cut out here, the back. There's a jetpack area. I'll get into that one later. Um, this is supposed to be black, but on here it's silver because it's Christmas. Like everything silver. The middle crotch piece is also green like this to match it. He looks like a cool superhero, which is awesome. Reminds me of Turbo Man. So the legs joints they move. The, the ball joint, the ball, the ball joints are uh, white. You can listen. Maybe you'll hear it. Like flicks, kind of. But it doesn't really like stand. It's like pivoting. I don't know why. Okay, so the shoes look sexy. They're uh, that chromey gold and that gold green. And then the foot is silver, and then the green again, and then there's red, no name on the bottom, surprisingly. With Toy Story toys, people tend to want to put their name on it, wonder why. Okay, so his helmet is in good condition, it works. This is all s clear here, so you can see his electronics inside, it lights up. Uh, here's a shot of it in the dark. You can see that light's not very bright. This light is brighter. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year. So that's cool. Here's a shot of the back. He has like nice in groove, in, in groove, nice groovings with the red shoes going up, silver, white, screw holes at Disney, China. Going up, here's a gigging border there. Here's jetpack, it's all silver. All silver. You can see. Okay. All silver here, as you can see, he has that uh, chrome finish, but this part is all chrome as well. They have this, where his jet booster is, as you can see. Screw holes, uh, silver again, nice chrome. Um, here's where the wings go in as well. You see the back of his head there. Which is good. Here's the back of his arms. All screws. Because this is a really old toy. So I'm going to get a good look of the wings coming out from the back. So here it is. Really nice. It's a little dirty. I might be able to wash this off. The stickers here. Make it look like candy canes. This is plain red. No no indentation either. Um, I just noticed there isn't any indentation in this one either. Um, no indentation here, it's like a separator here, and it's like candy cane. To put them in, you just push it, and push it up, and then it goes in. Uh, and up, in there, and it stays. This one is a little, yep. It just says harder, but it went in pretty easily. So, also, yeah, he has silver here on the sides, and he also has red, you know, these things. I don't know what they call those. Usually there's a button there on the Disney Store one to click to make it go up, but this one doesn't have it. So now I'm going to show off his phrases. So let's go over it. So first one is, this is Buzz Lightyear. Come in, Rudolph. He says, Buzz Lightyear, come in, Rudolph. Um, basically, I guess he's Santa. I don't know. Or he works with Santa. Or he's a helper. I protect Christmas presents from the threat of invasion. So I guess that's his job. He protects... Christmas presents from the threat of invasion to protect them. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year. So, he's wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year instead of a Happy New Year. Clever. An outco oh, outcome bubbles. Clever. To the North Pole and beyond. So, it said to infinity and beyond. He says to the North Pole and beyond. This is Buzz Lightyear. Come in, Rudolph. I protect Christmas presents from the threat of invasion. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Light Year. Okay, so there, I just went to them twice. So, let's compare to his phrases. Also, yeah, when you do his phrases, the laser goes off. The laser doesn't go off on that one when you press him to talk. So, he only has like three phrases. Um, I like his voice box, classic, sounds like... Um, Tim Allen. I don't even know if it is or not. Okay, so now this is the scaling with the holiday buzz from 96 Woody. 96 Woody is very big. 
just so you know. He's like 15 inches, 15 and a half. So that's how tall he is. I got this with this buzz. So I think it's fitting to show these guys because they're from the same era. So if you pull his pull strings, he speaks. I got this broken, but I was able to fix it somewhat. It works like 40% of the time. I don't know why, only part of the time. Because it was rattly in there, and then I like shook it. And I opened it up, and like, the speaker the little speaker part, I just stuck back in the hole where it came from, and it started working. But yeah, this is a really, really good toy. If you find it for a good deal, snag it. If you like it or not, sell it if you don't. So this is worth like a 90 to $100, maybe even more in package. Now I just need a Holiday Hero Woody, if you guys have one that you're willing to sell, or trade, or something, let me know in the comments, I'm looking for one, and I could use it to go with this guy, um, for a reasonable price, I would be internally grateful. Um, had to do it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, so you never miss another video, peace.